As you all know, last week was a historic week for the gay rights movement in this country. Um, I promised last week something that, that some people thought was pretty bold, but I, I stand by it today. Through litigation or legislation, we will mend marriage equality this year. People are being denied their rights over a simple word. So we're here today starting the process for an override in Westfield Talked for about reasons. We're, we're here saying. in this district because the minority leader of the New Jersey State Senate represents this family too. So if in fact he will do what my experience, long experience in the legislature has taught me, we never ever take party positions on matters of conscience. Uh, you know, when you talk to, to some people, they, they speak of marriage equality as, as an abstract idea, as, you know, a vague, a vague concept. But when you meet, if they could only meet Liz and Nancy and their grandchildren and their son, they would understand that it's not about an abstract idea. It's about relationships. It's about people. Uh, it's about a relationship that they've had for 30 years with rivals, uh, many uh, heterosexual or, or, or otherwise relationships. And I with the ruling of DOMA, DOMA establishes conclusively that uh, New Jersey civil unions are unequal and therefore unconstitutional. And so we're saying, in a very real way, the legislature doesn't get a pass. It's not our function to simply sit back and say, yes, it's unconstitutional, but you know what? We're not going to do anything about it. And, and, and Governor Christie, uh, reconsider what you're saying here. Reconsider what you're doing here. You're behind the curve, you're behind the moral curve of the universe. Not only should you not impose your will and the personal beliefs of your fellow legislators, think of your role in history and be on the right side of the moral curve of the universe and allow your Republican legislators to do the right thing, uphold the Constitution of the state of New Jersey, and allow us to override your veto so that same-sex marriage can be the law of the land in the state of New she Jersey. We survived that, but we were all in from day one. We shared money from day one. And it wasn't always equitable, equitable, but we shared. We shared um, life-threatening illnesses with the kids. We shared marriages. We shared divorces. We shared grabbing our grandkids when they were first born and giving them hugs. We shared every aspect of life together, every aspect of life together. And I was very proud of New Jersey. They, they were one of the first states to uh, enact anti-discrimination laws. I mean, they've, and then uh, domestic partnerships and civil unions was fairly early on. Um, but as time went on in other states, enacted gay marriage, it was always marriage, civil unions turned into marriage. People would look at me and say, when's New Jersey going to have marriage? And I'd say, well, we really do, we have these civil unions, they're the same thing, but clearly they weren't. And uh, to begin to feel again like a second-class citizen has been uh, depressing, especially after the initial elation of, that was brought by the, the decision. Uh, you know, so. this is our moment. This is our moment in time. It's time to, to make history uh, in New Jersey, and it's just the right thing to do to afford civil rights, human rights, to all of our gay and lesbian brothers and sisters. And that's